What up guys, Karma back with another SmackDown review. And uh, tonight we start off with Charlotte Flair, the queen of all eras, she calls herself. Uh, started uh, basically um, kicked off just a few days before fighting Trish Stratus. She told the fans that they were with this great, this, um, the lever could be great this because they quit the moment they took a challenge in. Um, she ripped out Stratus. Um, she threw a video package, future highlights of her old career is dead. This video package uh, showcases Stratus' accomplishments. They were really by all the clips of Michael Jim Ross, Sherry Lauder, put in the, her old really as the greatest ever. Uh, Stratus appeared to a pop with seconds later. Uh, she says she aired the video as a reminder of why Flair is even here. She, why she was received the opportunity she has, uh, she quoted a Harley race, um, Flair round to beat Stratus down, and then, uh, Trish ended up slapping, uh, Flair to close that. Uh, then we have Ray Reserve versus Dolph Ziggler. Uh, he boxed Goldberg's entrance after he's gonna face him at SummerSlam. Um, it was an okay match, um. Ziggler by Mysterio before jumping with a super kick on the floor. Fish called for help as the aggressive Ziggler stopped the raw race side. Uh, he grabbed the mic, ran down the legends that keep crawling back to the view. Promise he is not next instead of Sunday's Goldberg class. Ali's music played as he hit the red. Uh, whipped Ziggler out as you know threw him out of the red. Then we had Ali versus Dolph Ziggler. It was okay. Um, um, but, um, and tapped at Sweet Chain Music, nearly tossed him as the victory, and cost him the victory as Ali rolled him up for a two count, but then a second, then a super kick again by Ziggler, and uh, wins. So Ziggler defeated, uh, Ali. Uh, Roman Reigns addresses recent incidents. Uh, Roman Reigns joined with Kelly Brexit and discussed recent events that have threatened his well-being. He said that while he has been put through much, he at least knew that what was threatening him, he doesn't have that same comfort right now. Ray said the events have affected his life, could then proceed to apologize to Samoa Joe for dragging his name through the mud since it's now clear he had nothing to do with it. He vowed to get to the bottom of things by the end of the night. Um, when Ray is allowed to be himself without the, you know, scripted promo, he actually is really, though, engaged to cave him and all that, and all that. Um, but then we have Ember Moon versus Natalia. Ember win. Uh, no contest. It was an okay match. Um, coming on the show with Shane. Ended up with Shane and Elias beating down Kevin Owens. Putting him through a table. And that eggs the segment. Yeah. And then um, we had Alistair Black versus Sami Zayn. Okay match. Um... Sammy got some, just, it's stupid, um, but Alex and Black to be the Sammy Zayn, it's an okay match, Black just kind of dominated, Kofi responds to Randy Orton though, uh, basically just talking about Orton, um, about back to back, kind of same stuff we saw, then we have New Day versus, um, the new Daddy Bryan at Eric Road, and then, um, but, <sighs> It was an okay match, I guess. This was like kind of the best match of the night, but New Day defeated Brian and Rowan by disqualification um, to close out the show, which is kind of weird why they did that to close out the show, but it was okay. SmackDown, kind of crappy though to build up to SummerSlam, so um, guys, like, share, subscribe. Peace.